There's the system in operation. A little homemade tripod. There's the box. Cherry on top, oak on the sides, scraps. <laughs> There's the power supply with a computer cord embedded in a transformer that coincidentally says Edwards on it. <laughs> it's a doorbell transformer. And then there's the wheel. One coil on the PMH was enough. This thing actually screams. But the switch goes right to the solenoid directly. Ed would have had a relay for large current. But even this would do the same thing. I got my butternut base. I've got cedar right there. And that's a piece of purple heart. And this is Brazilian cherry. As is that piece there. All scraps that I had. Everything here is, is scraps. The only thing I had to purchase was that wire. This wire came off of a microwave oven fan motor. All right, I'll quit babbling. There's the relay up close. A little backstop here I can adjust, or I won't adjust it now. I'll just show you. You can push it forward, and this thing speeds right up. I mean, if I adjust it. fast I can get it to go now. A little gizmo going crazy. Well, look at the wheel. That's pretty good. There's a little bridge rectifier in here. A capacitor throwing 12 volts out there. And I need to yet put a little bit of uh, fiberglass styrene glop on here to seal these up, make it a little more bulletproof, maybe get some plugs. These are aluminum keepers. These are brass screws. The only iron piece is this loop de do. And this thing doesn't even close, doesn't even come close to getting warm. So I'm way, way over what it would take to do this and keep it running fast and efficiently delivering solid power. That's not the intent. Basically just to run it. But anyway. There it is from a distance. My junk pile of goodies. But anyway, that's basically the cute little kit. This thing I would not want to make another one without telling whoever that it's going to be custom because this took me a long time. When you start looking around as to what you have, it really starts adding up. That's why to go into business, this is strictly artisan work, custom only. Someone makes me quite an offer, then I might get rid of it. <laughs> Other than that, it's pretty much a Coral Castle keepsake thing. Only serious collectors. And the thing is, this thing would last for a long time. I bet you could keep this for a hundred years almost. The bearings are really good quality on the wheel. Everything's fixable easily or replaceable real cheap. That little switch. 
maybe the capacitor, I don't know. This stuff's been going a long time and probably keep going. But I got five minutes into this, that's enough. However, I have left this running for an hour just to test it all. And it ran just fine. That solenoid over there lifting the slug gets pretty warm though. So if it were kids, eh, it's like a train set. You don't mess around. It's electricity. There's heat. You can get in trouble if you're stupid. It's a quality little kit. if you use it properly. Beats a big saw. It wasn't stupid, but he probably would have used a saw. This is what he knew, and old people find this probably a lot easier. Slow, but a lot easier listening to than a giant chip slinging rotary blade. Boy, it cuts quick. This was the old-fashioned channeling method used by marble couriers in the 1870s. They had an Ingersoll Rand chipping device. That solenoid over there would be mounted on a horizontal ladder-looking rack that pivoted. And then you could chip lines in the ground. You could chip another line next to it, break the chunk out, and run your chains in, chip holes. The whole works. Alright, seven minutes. Lucky number seven. <laughs> hey, wait, it's supposed to be about 16. Sweet 16. Although that's a 24 banger, like the one at the castle. Alright. Over and out, folks. Hope you enjoyed this long, boring, little, cute little kit, though. You gotta admit, I had fun building that little bit every night. And by 